Hello, welcome to Daniel's Inferno. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I hope everyone watching, everyone's family members, had a wonderful Christmas, wonderful holiday season. Happy Hanukkah to all of my Jewish watchers. I hope your seven days of Hanukkah was a lovely and wonderful experience this year. Before we get started, if you have a moment, please like, subscribe, leave a comment below, and join the conversation. I'd love to hear from you. So, given that we are still around the Christmas season, I thought it would be appropriate to talk about uh, something that I saw. Uh, many people, you may or may not be familiar with Lily Singh. So she was a popular YouTuber, very popular. Um, and in the last year or so, she has uh, gotten her own late night television show. Um, she decided, and let me preface this by saying her television show is much less popular than her YouTube used to be. And ironically, she gets more views for her show when people are doing YouTube videos for them than when they're not. And I just found that funny that she swapped from YouTube over to television and she's getting more views still on YouTube. So she decided to do a roast of Santa Claus and I thought uh, we could watch a little bit of it and uh, critique the things she has to say. Uh, let me begin by saying that I am in love with the Christmas season, the holiday season. Uh, I enjoy the fantasy, the lore, the spirit, uh, all of it. I celebrated with my grandmother. It was the uh, most special time and is the most special time of the year for me. I get quite into it. Um, when it comes to Santa Claus, I obviously don't believe that he himself is a real individual, but I do believe in what he represents and the spirit of Santa and the fact that you can draw parallels between the lore of Santa and Christianity and the holiday season well Christmas is about the birth of Jesus at the end of the day and you can draw these parallels between things like so Rudolph he has to lead Santa's sleigh he cut his nose cuts through the darkness well Jesus is the light that guides the path of humanity uh, Santa brings gifts to everybody's children. He brings joy and happiness. He, uh, he represents the ability to overcome the nastiest parts of humanity, which is something that Jesus represented. So I just, I thought I'd comment on that quickly before we uh, got started into Lily Singh's terrible roast of Santa Claus. Cringe warning from here on out by saying a few words. Santa, Santa, you're old, fat, white, and wear a red hat. In other words, you're a Trump supporter. <laughs> <laughs> you have a whole workshop full of elves making millions and millions of presents and delivering them overnight. Wow, wow. I guess there is someone who exploits his workers more than Jeff Bezos. <laughs> Speaking of elves, do you look at Kevin Hart as the one who got away? Absolutely. You also go by the name Chris Pringle. Is that German? I mean, that makes sense, since you decide to take a job in which you deliver toys to every boy and girl in the world, except the Jews. <laughs> These are hot. Okay, firstly, um, does anyone else feel like um, this forced laugh track? Even the people that she's brought on are barely laughing or clapping at the things she's saying. Uh, she just made an anti-Semitic joke about Santa. Um, the Jews have Hanukkah over this time of the year. Um, the there's nothing at all that says Santa doesn't bring gifts to the Jews, okay? And it's actually a horrid thing to say to try to link 
something as wonderful as Santa Claus and what he represents with something as hateful and evil as anti-Semitism. And that's disgusting, in my opinion, especially when anti-Semitism around the world and in the West is on the rise. What? This, that, that's not necessary. It's not funny. It, it represents and means nothing. And you know what? Last time I checked, Santa brought gifts to every, every boy and girl around the world. There was no, he did not specify a religion that he brought gifts to. Whether or not people choose to believe in him, choose to believe in the spirit, choose to believe in what he represents, totally up to them. Again, I've made my feelings about that quite clear. But I, I really don't think trying to link something that is supposed to represent a very good and positive thing, trying to link it with something as evil and hateful as anti-Semitism, no. And you know, oh, he's a Trump supporter. Oh, he's he's old, white, fat, and a red hat. He's a Trump supporter, I guess. But it, see, that's so irrelevant. At all. What? It's not funny. Who? Santa is not political. Don't politicize Santa. Don't don't do that. We have enough things in life that are political that we do not need to make the spirit of giving, the spirit of love and joy. You do not need to politicize that at all. And, and apparently you're immortal and you have magic powers and the ability to see everything that's happening all the time. Way to stop Hitler, idiot. <laughs> By the way, Santa, question. Why are you so jolly all the time? I mean, you haven't seen your in centuries. <laughs> oh. But in the end, Santa, in the end, you're the reason kids on Christmas have so many toys. You're also the reason Mrs. Claus has so many toys. <laughs> have sex with your wife, Santa! <laughs> Alright, let that's she's that's that was her last joke. Um it, as I'm not sure if anyone else found that funny, please go ahead and share if you either found that funny or if you've ever had anything of Lily Singh's that has made you even chuckle remotely. I've yet to find any material of hers that has even brought a single laugh out of my mouth. Even a grin. It has not even brought a grin to my mouth. And you know what? what? So Santa is responsible for Hitler and he's anti-Semitic. Well, I guess Santa and Hitler must be best friends, right? Like, according to Lily Singh, like this. They're just besties. Jeez Louise, man. This is beyond the pale when you try to... That's two anti-Semitic references in the span of 25 seconds. If you ask me... I think Lily Singh uh, has some feelings deep down that she's uh, letting slip. It's my opinion. At the end of the day, I think attacking Santa, obviously, uh, you can make fun of Santa. You can make jokes about Santa. I personally believe you can make jokes about anything. But first, they need to be funny jokes. Those were not funny at all. And secondly... It really seems like she was trying to warp and debase the meaning and the spirit behind the season and behind Santa. I mean, what, did she not get, get enough gifts when she was younger? Hmm? Did she not have very good Christmases? Guess what, Lily Singh? Fly a kite, as my grandmother would say. Thank you all for watching today. Once again, I hope you had a wonderful season. One last time, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Hanukkah. I'm Daniel's Inferno. Have a nice day.